The record turnouts since early voting began are encouraging, but not so much for those who don't have time to wait in line. A woman who says it only took her 30 minutes to vote saw complaints on Facebook and decided she could do something about that. Jesse DeGuiello tells us what the voter did and the response she's getting as a result. There is now a Facebook group focused on what many have been wondering about. Bear County voting location wait times. There's nothing sexy about it. Seeing how long lines could discourage people wanting to vote early gave Lily Kasuda an idea. Let's do it as a Facebook group and let's have people crowdsource the wait times in real time. They certainly have been posting where and when the shortest waits are across Bear County. Based on those, the average is said to be only 10 minutes. Afternoons are better than mornings, as well as right before the early voting sites close at 8 p.m. What kind of response have you gotten? Well, in a little over a week, it's up to 6,000 members, which is incredible. It just showed me there's a, a real need for more grassroots help that's middle of the road, impartial, but useful. We checked whether this post was accurate about no one in line at this east side location being worth the drive. Sure enough, there was no line to the relief of these voters who weren't aware of the Facebook group. Sometimes we can't stand as long as we could when we were younger and we need more help. So, you know, I think it's great. There's also now an app that mirrors much of what the Facebook page does, created by Move Texas, a nonpartisan grassroots organization. Being that it's still new, creators of the app say the more people use it, the more information it'll have, both giving voters the heads up on what to expect and plan for. Jesse Degollado, KSAT 12 News.